Welcome to Thy Word is a Lamp unto My Feet, a Bible study of Fort Hill United Methodist Church. The goal of this Bible study is to respond to questions you might have about the Bible. You may send your questions to me, Mark Brown, M-A-R-C Brown, at forthillumc.com. Today's question is based on the Apostles' Creed and the specific statement of Jesus descending into hell. And the question is, did Jesus descend into hell? Well, to, under, to understand this question, or the answer to this question, we must first understand a bit about the Apostles' Creed. The Apostles' Creed was written as a way of defining the doctrine of Christianity. It was attributed to the Apostles and to each one of their teachings. There are 12 parts of the Apostles' Creed. While attributed to the Apostles, it is likely that the Apostle Creed was part of a statement that was called the Old Roman Creed, which was a baptismal statement of the early church. The particular statement of Jesus descending in hell was one of the last parts of the Apostles' Creed that was uh, included probably around the end of the seventh century AD. Well, one particular part of the Bible that deals with Jesus' descent into hell is 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 18 through 22. For Christ also suffered for sins once for all, the righteous for the unrighteous, in order to bring you to God. He was put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the spirit, in which also he went and made a proclamation to the spirits in prison, who in former times did not obey when God waited patiently in the days of Noah during the building of an ark, in which a few, that is, eight persons, were saved through water. And baptism, which this prefigured, now saves you, not as a removal of dirt from the body, but as an appeal to God for a good conscience, through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who has gone into heaven and is at the right hand of God, with angels, authority, and powers, made subject to him. I believe these verses point to the fullness of God's salvation accomplished through Jesus Christ, through his crucifixion and his resurrection. There is a, a concept called harrowing of hell, which teaches that Jesus descended into hell between the time of his crucifixion and his resurrection. I believe to fully understand uh, the concept of, of the Apostles' Creed, we have to look at the context of the Apostles' Creed in its totality and the fact that following the statement of Jesus descend into hell, there is also the statement of Jesus' ascent into heaven. Many modern versions of the Apostles' Creed use the phrase, he descended to the dead rather than he descended into hell. The purpose of this is to be more in line with what the words were probably from the Hebrew and the Greek related to the understanding of the death. And that was the understanding that Sheol was a resting place for the spirits until the resurrection on the last day. Did Jesus descend into hell? Well, J. Warren Smith offered this understanding of this statement of the Apostles' Creed in this way. It means there was no part of human existence to which Christ did not descend. Philip Clayton stated that many Christians over the centuries have found comfort in the creed's reference into descent into hell. What God has done in Christ needed to be known to the entire universe. For early Christians, Christ's redeeming death and resurrection needed to be proclaimed in the realm of the dead, just like everywhere else. To those in hell, his presence showed the final triumph of God so that they would know they had chosen the wrong side. Clayton said, and for those who could still turn, Christ who sent into hell was a chance for them to do so. For Clayton, the line, he descended into hell, is a reminder of God's presence even in the darkest and most anguished of places. When I recite this in church, I think there is just no place where the encompassing love of God cannot be present. There is no place where God is afraid to go. 
Well, whether you believe in a literal hell or whether you believe that hell is a state of existence that is, uh, is experienced even while we are alive, I believe that the statement or the question that Jesus did in descend into hell is yes, because Jesus descends into all places where we feel as though God's love cannot be found. Jesus descends into even the most desperate places of our lives, and he ascends so that we might know what it means to live in the victory of God's love and the totality of the resurrection of Jesus Christ for all of the universe. May God bless you as God's word becomes a lamp unto your feet.